Anyways, folks, we're going to do this again. Let's try no, it again. no, it was good. It was, was totally good. good. Like it was totally good. Do you like that? I really like that. Okay. So, today's episode of A Ladder Be Shaving, hosted by Matt Pisarsic and Douglas Smythe, is all about the art of throwing a meetup. Yeah. Please, love me. Come to my events. <laughs> Intro, please, intro. Welcome back, folks. Today we are going to be talking as Matt somehow covered in his soliloquy. His yes, that happened. Um, we are going to be talking about meetups. <coughs> You will be coughing after all the cigars you'll be smoking. <laughs> no, it's true. Actually, Let's try it's, again. It's, it's, no, no, it's, this is very true. I want to go off this. I went recently <laughs> to a South Florida wet shavers meetup in my no, it was in uh, How about we talk about West Palm Beach. Hold on one second. It's in West Palm Beach. <laughs> I smoked eight cigars in two days. Do the math. I was a smoking, I was a choking. It was a lot of smoking. And that's one thing I'll tell you about the Wet Shavers meetups, is if you don't like cigars, you will learn to like cigars. Yeah. Or you will feel left out. Or sick to your stomach. Ashamed. Or, or all of the above. Yeah. No, folks, it, it's true it can happen, but I thought we'd just start talking about, like, what is a meetup? There's probably some viewers out there that have no idea what the hell we're yep. talking about. Yeah, I know. A meetup? What's a meetup, Doug? Well, I'm glad you asked, Matt. A meetup is, well, just like any other special interest group or meetup that happens online. Star Trek. Star Trek, yeah, Trekkies get together, and why shouldn't Shavers get together, too? And uh, so that's often what it is. I mean, it, typically, it's a small meetup or gathering of people, like-minded folks. Like-minded folks. That's the key element right there. Where you can get together, talk shop, drink beer. And then, and then share in the adjacent hobbies, like drinking, smoking, the finer things in life. Some people like to wear like nice clothes, suits, haberdashery that stuff. That can happen, too. That's hats, more, pipes. But honestly, don't... Let Matt get you lost in the weeds with that. That's more of the bigger meetups. Yeah. A smaller meetup is what pretty much we're talking about today is throwing your own. It's all the camaraderie, the, the, the brotherhood, the fellowship. Yeah. Fellowship. Fellowship. Of the ring. Yes. So, I mean, that, that's a meetup. And there may be some raffles. There may be some door prizes. Yeah, door prizes. Artisans and vendors may show up and sell. Yes. Or maybe just show up and pass out samples. Or just show up and represent. Traditionally and historically, artisans would show up, but they would just pass out samples. Yeah. Uh, Last few years, though, we've seen bigger meetups come around where yeah. artisans and vendors are selling product, which is great. And I, yeah. I think we were part of that yeah. with the Big Shave. The first two Big Shave Swests, or the Big Shave West, rather, uh, we didn't sell anything. Vendors and artisans were there with tables set up, but they didn't sell anything. They passed out samples. <clears throat> but oh, we, yeah. Well, what happened was is a lot of the attendees were disappointed. They wanted to buy stuff, and I my, my thing was the exact opposite. Like, I don't want to push stuff in front of people. I want to be able to hang out. I don't want to handle money. I just want to pass yeah. out samples because we... Our hobbyists as well, and we yeah. just want to, you know, so we didn't want to deal with credit cards and that stuff. Well, but it turns out people really, 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 really wanted this. Well, here's the thing: a <clears> lot <throat> of the times, if you do go to a meetup and there are artisans there or people who you know make products or sell products, it may be your first opportunity to smell or touch yeah. or you know whatever experience a product that you've only seen in online pictures before. Yeah. So now you're sitting there and you're saying, God, "This is just the best smelling Campbell soup ever. It's I want to buy it." Yeah, is exactly. So I mean, so it's it's the best of both worlds. It's best for the, it's good for the it's a good deal for the artisan and a good deal for yeah. the uh, attendee. Um, you know, and these things are typically held at the smaller ones, anyways, at restaurants, yes, or bars. Sometimes the organizer will reserve a room. Sometimes and a table, and it, all these are tips. Everything he just said can be converted to a tip. So if you're going to throw one. Restaurants, bars, well, that's the back room. That's what the episode's about now. We're, well, I know. We're but, getting that. But I want to encourage people. These are the ideas. Write them down. Restaurants, bars, brewing companies, restaurants that have a back room. These are all great places to throw a meetup. But the thing is, what if the meetup's not near you, man? Then throw your own. Make <laughs> your own. <laughs> well, no, that's one. And that's what we're going to get to. But before that, you can travel. Travel. Don't be afraid to book a flight. It's a huge part of it. And, like, you know, I mean, I understand it can be costly for some. Sometimes yeah. you're going to take vacation time off. But most of these happen on a weekend and they're just one day long. Yeah. Um, not even a day long, maybe a few hours long. But if you can travel, that's part of the fun of getting there. Yes. And you can stay, you can be there affordably, meaning you can do Airbnb. Uh, in any of the uh, groups, you can reach out, see if there's anyone. A lot of these roommate. guys, yeah, will, will literally share put a you up on their couch yeah. or, or share a room. I put Matt up on my couch in my hotel room for the. One of the meetups. Oh yes, yeah. that's right. 
He snores like a mother. I Anyways, uh, so I mean, like, you can room share, you can Airbnb. There are affordable ways of getting around the high cost of travel if you want to, if you really want to attend it. And I highly recommend you do because it's so different than being in a group yes. or a forum where people can be in and it's all drama yeah, and everything else. That's that not being with people. Well, no, no more keyboard heroes. Now, if you want to talk some smack, someone's looking at you in the eyes when you're doing it. <laughs> well, and chances maybe? are, you know, no smack will no. come because it's so, text is so hard to understand what someone's trying to convey anyway. Motions. Yeah, run wild and uh, run the gamut in these forums and groups. When you're face to face with the person, pressing, pressing the fr pressing the flesh, it's it's a whole different animal. Yeah, I've been to at least a half dozen, if not more, maybe close to a dozen meetups all around the country, and I can tell you that when you get together with the wet shavers, um, you're, it's almost like built-in friends. It's like it's like you're going to yeah. like a club or fraternity. So nice. There's only one time I went to one, and it was like there were a couple guys there that were just like. I was like, I don't believe, I don't know why they bring that stuff. It's like, just have a good time, talk right. shop, it's fun. Yeah. But don't it's, take it's, yourself so serious, folks. It's shaving. It's just shaving. It's have shaving. some fun. But you'll, you know, I've, I've actually made some, I wouldn't call them, you know, real life friends necessarily, but they're, they're friends that I Four know friends. through shaving. Yeah, they're online friends. And, you know, I can reach out to them on Messenger, talk to them, or when I go to the meetup next year, I'll see them and well, we'll, sometimes you know, hang they become, out. That's the thing. Yeah, they sometimes become they your become friends. Real yeah. friends, too. They will. Like, I, for a lot of meetups for me, anyways, they become like reunions. Yes. Like family reunions. That's a really good one, reunion. Like, I go to Maggard's every year, and then we have Big Shave every year, and we go, we see a lot of the same faces. Oh, yeah. In the South Florida Wet Shavers, I've been to their meetups twice now, three times almost. Yeah. And uh, you see the same people, you hang out. And so it's call, nice. SoCal uh, Wet Shavers Collective, we have I meetups always as well. miss that one. Okay. I'm, I'm in o Ohio every year at that time. Yeah. Well, next year we'll time it differently. There Regardless, that brings us to our next point. If you don't want to travel or if you can't afford to travel, Create your own meetup. Yes. Let them come to you. Don't be afraid that uh, if you build it, they will come. Don't be afraid to be the first one to, to throw something. I remember the first one we had, the Arizona Shavers meetup here. You know, we had, uh, I think it was at the Little Brew Co. Mm -hmm. And we had like 15 people show up. And that was great. That's 15, perfect. Yeah, 15 people is a lot of people. More than three people is perfect. I mean, it's just, you start off small. Or and three or more gathered. I am there. Uh, the thing is, yeah, folks, do not be intimidated by meetups. This is something that is totally within your grasp that you can do, you can put on, and we're about to tell you how to do that. First, get yourself one of these. That's a piñata. This is very important at a wet shaving meetup. You need to have a party. Keep Stuff it with little candies, games, razor pill, blades. Razor condoms. blades. I mean, razor blades, yeah. Uh, and go to town. No, we don't do this at all. Uh, I just hit my mic, but you probably know that by now. My mic. Um, <laughs> now, what you need to do is, um, well... First things first, create a Facebook group and event yes. page. Event page and come up with a date. Well, the event page comes second. First, create a Facebook group and ask people to join it and ask them what date works for them, what they think is a good date. Post in other groups, Facebook uh, forums and groups, and say, see what date. I'd say at least th two to three weeks out minimum, more like a month or two out. Be give people plenty of time. The Everyone's longer, got the better, I say. Yeah. yeah. But not too long, they'll say forget, unless you can remind them all the time. Well, that's where the posting comes in. That's yeah. up to you as well. So it is going to take a little bit of time when it comes to promoting, but not that much. It's really much easier than what you think. So what you do is once you get, uh, get some interest in the and in, get a head count, that's when you need to find a place to have the event. Yes. And I recommend restaurants. Cigar bars. Cigar bars. Brucos. Breweries. New restaurants, too. Maybe sometimes this brewery is opening up. I've seen this before, where a brewery is just opening up, and they're not open yet. But they want to create interest on their a own. Buzz. Yeah, some buzz. So they'll open up for you. Yeah. So or a place with a back room, like an Italian restaurant with a nice big back room, which, something that has some space. Which you could rent, and in that case, you might need to charge admission five, ten bucks for having to pitch in. But if it's your first meetup, you probably want to keep it free. I like free events, so oftentimes you can find free. Ta they'll reserve tables for you if you can guarantee a certain number, and that's where the head count comes in. They're more than welcome to have you in that restaurant for what they're going to make off it and the tips and all that other yeah. jazz. So. Find a place like that. It's super easy, though, folks. Don't let, don't be intimidated by throwing a meetup at all. You just find a space to have this. Uh, sometimes you can just show up. <coughs> excuse me, at the bar. <coughs> you got a frog in your throat. I do have a frog. <laughs> While Douglas is drinking on the sets, we'll talk more about ah. meetups. And where's my pinata? God, I'm looking forward to that. <coughs> okay, I'm back. So, um, yeah, you can just find it. Bowling alley. Alley, bowling alley. Just you know, wherever guys get together and gather and talk. How about talk a cosmic shop. bowling alley? Um, and then um, 
what you want to do is once the date's set, the location's set, then you create your event page. Promote. <clears throat> Start inviting your friends and everyone in your little group that you've created, have them invite their friends. Whether they're in the area or not, just have them spread the word for you. And then head on over to the Wet Shaving Meetup page on Facebook. Post, post, post. And announce it there. And see if there's other people and in that area. And cross-promote to chat rooms and Badroom Blade and forums. Forums, groups. Um, as long as you're not, I mean, talk. you might want to talk to the admins of these places first to see if they allow this. Yes. You don't want to be Always follow spamming. the rules, people. Yeah, I made that mistake before in the past where I didn't really know the rules. I thought I did, and yeah, it ended up biting me in the <laughs> So, get, you know, get the rules first. Post where you can. Um, as interest grows in the date, then you want to, what do you want to do? Remind people, um, try to hype it up, talk about what's going to be happening Oh, there. I know what you do. Who's going to be there. Approach vendors. Yes. Vendors and artisans. Now you want to get samples and yes. door prizes. And as, as vendors, we are very happy to send you some free things because we're saying to ourselves, oh, well, it's all going to get passed out. All you need to do is send this. It's free advertising, more or less. You'd be surprised. Some people don't get that. But yeah, well, samples, we're always willing. I, a lot of us are willing to send out samples and door prizes and help yeah. out and even attend. I, and, oh, I, if anyone approaches me, I'm always happy to give a raffle oh, prize, door prize. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. No, no, no brainer. And if we attend and you want us to sell our vend there, we'll do that as well. If you don't, we're also happy with that. I've been to events yeah. where I, I just was hanging out. I'm more than happy too. just to attend. Yeah, because I, I don't get, I don't have to handle money. And oh, have to and a lot money. of it's just, about the FaceTime. You know, we, we, we sit. Want to talk shop. We sit there. Well, talk shop, yes. But I also see it as reputation building. You know, a lot of times people know you through your YouTube channel or your emails and your your web e-commerce store, mm -hmm. but they don't really know you. And if you sit down and have a beer with somebody or talk. Oh, I think I'm, we're know? saying the same thing. I mean, yeah. talk and shop is like. Talk and shop. Yeah. And you get to know that you build those little tiny relationships, you know. Oh, yeah. It's great. You can, uh, artisans and vendors also can answer questions that you may yes. have had. Yes, yes, question. That's that a great you one. might not have asked or been a little bit shy in the forums to ask. So it's great to meet them in person and great to smell all their products too or whatever they can bring. Uh, so, yeah, definitely reach out to them and they're often more than happy to participate, send you something. Uh, and then, yeah, it's back to creating buzz, posting in uh, groups and forums. Um, what else is there, Matt? Oh, aspirin. Very important you bring aspirin. Plan for the party. So P yeah. P L P P A R T Y. Yeah. Plan for a little party because, guys, let's let's or let's after party. Let's face it. When we get together with fellow like-minded wet shaving friends and associates reunion, people are going to have some libations and some enjoyment. You need to make sure that you got some water in your hotel room. I always, the first thing to yes, do. Yes, buy bottled water. I always buy bottled water. I yeah. buy a whole case at the grocery yeah. store for three dollars, and I bring that, it to my hotel room. I mooch off of him. That's but right. Yeah, bottled water is good. Fix Another it. thing is, we left the can here because, <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's always great to uh, give back. So mm. maybe it's a free event. You're not charging admission, but you could charge. Bring some canned goods, and we can mm -hmm. donate it to charity after go. the fact, which we'll be doing at the Big Shave West, oh, or yeah. West this year. Matt tells me. So uh, yeah, we'll be accepting cans. But yeah, that's another thing you can take advantage of. There are socks for the homeless, or whatever you can make. You can bring some good out of these. Oh, things as well. we're missing the biggest scene ever. What is it? Hold Matt? on, I what totally just got it. I forgot about this. The piff table. Ah. The piff table. Piff. What does piss piff stand for? <laughs> what does piss stand for? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. Did. I didn't say that. Did. Piff, pass it, it forward. forward. So this is one of my favorite aspects. I, I always think of Maggard's because uh, at Maggard's meetup, uh, they have a big pool table on the second story of the building, and so the, they make the whole uh, you know billiards table into a piff table. We had a piff table at Big Shave. Oh well, yeah, and Big Shave does it. I'm not saying that just them. I just think of them yeah. at the, the billiards table. Anywho, the piff table is an amazing thing. So yes, go ahead, bring your can, bring your aspirin, bring whatever you want to do, but bring some shaving gear that you no longer are using. Maybe you didn't love it or you have excess or it was just whatever. Something that you- Something for the newbies. Something Give for back. the newbies, yeah. yeah. Maybe it's your old Merker 34 that's not getting much use anymore. Bring something. Or you can leave something and take something too. That's the thing. The piff table is all about take something, leave it. So maybe you bring that old uh, pack of razor blades and you pick up another one or soap yeah, sample Yeah, it's good or form if you are gonna take something. Yeah, don't be that guy. Leave something also. Take a penny, leave a penny. Take a penny, leave a penny. Yeah. I like that. So so the piff table is another great feature and promote that because then people will, will have a, a sense of, uh, oh, there's something happening there. Oh, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll get something I like. You know, and I'm glad you got that. Unknown. It also connect in the forums with other people that are going to be attending and maybe you can buy, sell, trade as well. If there's something you want to trade that he has and you have, you know, I mean, like yes. get in touch with him way yeah. beforehand. Another, so one day of, if you're organizing this, show up 
An hour early. Yes. If you're the host, be the hostess of the mostest. You gotta be there on the scene. Help the staff set up the tables and chairs. And just be there visually. Have the so sample bags ready, the grab bags or swag bags that you put together from all the different artisans ready. I thought of something else. T shirts. Sorry, I'm just turning off oh, our well, timer. Yeah, you're right. T shirts. If you if maybe for your first one, it may be too much. But if this is like an ongoing thing where- T-shirts. Well, I, I, I keep on saying the South Florida Wet Shavers because they're just a group I know a lot about. They do- Not two, ours. Yeah, well they do two or three different meetups every year and they always have a T-shirt, they have a, a signature scent that they're gonna work with an artisan to make, like a so soap, just for the event. We do T-shirts, I've done T-shirts for many yeah. different meetups. So I encourage them as well. So, so merchandise and so products associated with it. So if you want to do a commemorative t-shirt, yes. is what Matt's saying. Not only that, is when you're approaching these artisans for samples and whatnot, you can also see if one of them wants to do maybe the official soap and splash of the event there too. There you go. So different commemorative items as well. But yeah, t-shirts too. Um, again, I, if, you, if, you, if you can't find anybody, we do do them. Um, so you showed up 45 minutes early, great. You're helping the staff set the tables and chairs. Also, artisans too. Make sure the artisans show up with you so they can set up their tables. Um, and then there's the door prize. How do you run the door prize? Tickets. 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 You can find this at any like office store, buy a roll of tickets, and as they're coming in the door, either giving you a can or just coming in the door, you give them the ticket too. Maybe you sell a ticket for a buck also yeah, yeah. to recoup for the room you rented. But I mean, like, I mean, you're just making, you know, costs, you know, just uh, offsetting costs for the room you rented or whatever, if that indeed happened. If not, you're just passing out tickets. And then some point during the meetup, probably, I don't know, three quarters of the way through, because you want to pe keep people there. Yes, I, 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 honestly, I always say almost halfway through, because what always ends up happening, I've been this guy, you're sitting there, it's the end of the day, and you're reading off the tickets, and no one's there. You're saying, 63429, 63429, and oh, well, they're gone. Next one. Yeah, oh, we've and done And you that. look like the J.A. Jackass. Yeah, you look like that guy. Yeah. You, don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. So, so maybe yeah, do it halfway yeah, yeah, through. Halfway through would be good because some people might actually need to leave, and we, we, we love that. So Wait, hold on. I'm, these things are now just coming to me. It's only taking the entire episode, man. Food. Food. So in your promotions, you need to either tell people that that lunch or food will be something that they're covering, or that if there's it's a the restaurant, it's at, if it's at a restaurant. Well, like yeah, that, yeah. You but could share the menu on the Facebook group page. Yeah. Or but let's say if it's not at a bar, let's say it's at a park, or it's at some you know whatever historic place. That you're food is at. not necessary, folks. But if you want to go that route, at I least, don't want to overcomplicate for people. Like I want to keep it easy. Like that's why I say do it at a restaurant, do it yes. at a bar, do it at a bowling alley. I mean, food is like for some people that's very important. It is. And if it's a bigger thing, you know, you might want to look into that. I mean, you you can get crazy with this. You can have it catered or whatever. But make whatever. sure I mean, the expectations are in line. So if you're not going to do anything for food, tell them like, oh, we're at the restaurant. The food's obviously in the menu. Yeah. Or if you are going to do something for food, maybe. I guarantee if you're having it at a restaurant or a bar, there's going to be someone that's going to ask you for the menu. So if you don't remember this step, someone like Matt will be like, well, what's the hey, What are you going to have? I'm hungry. Yeah. What are you doing? Feed me. Yeah. Is there going to be meat there? You know, so yeah, there's always meat there. Um, I think that's it for the most part. I think it is too. Um, but well. the thing is, yeah, we just want to encourage you to go out there and, and do it because this we, we need more meetups. We I've, always need more meetups. I've, we both forgot the most important thing. There's I, two simple words, people. Have fun. That's right. And don't Have fun. Take don't take it too serious. seriously. Yeah. I mean, this is the hobby. This is what we're in it for. It's always great to get together with like-minded folks and talk about what you love, share tips, tricks, hacks, so on and so forth. And with that, Matt, please like, comment, and subscribe, and you could win. That's right. A bundle. Not only that, if there's a show or a topic you'd like us to cover, leave that in the comments below too or email us. We want to hear us from, from you. you. It's true. Until next time. We will see you on A Lot of Be Shaving. Oh, see you at the Big Shave Swest, folks. Coming up on my birthday. March 28th. Booyah.